the Army Aviation Heritage Foundation was started in 1997 uh, by a large group of predominantly Vietnam veterans. And their goal was to accumulate vintage Army aircraft, mainly from the Vietnam War, and rebuild them as much as they could, get them to flyable condition, showing the American public about the history of Army aviation, specifically uh, our late Korean War, mainly Vietnam, to today through our flying museum uh, and the aircraft that are part of it. Our primary mission as Sky Soldiers is to connect the Army aviation community and, and the Army veteran with the community itself. When we go to air shows and we take the aircraft out and we fly them and then we get a chance to work the line and walk and talk with the public, all of a sudden the, these, these people look at you and like, oh wow, this is, uh, you, you did a heck of a lot more than we ever saw on television or, or whatever because we didn't live in a time where social media obviously took care of a lot of that. And every time you see a child on the line and it just inspires them to get into aviation, then you know you, you've hit the mark. You've hit them right on the mark. Everybody knows the sound of the iconic Huey, and we have a lot of people that come for rides or to work with us and volunteer with us, and they want to bring their kids, and we want all the next generations to see the aircraft and appreciate it and know what our veterans went through. And it really is just a big-hearted moment for a lot of these veterans to come back and see a Huey again. They say, oh, I never thought I'd see one again. I never thought I'd ride on one again. And we're just, we couldn't be prouder to be able to travel these aircraft around and maintain them and winning the hearts and minds, basically, of, uh, of the American public for veterans. We've been volunteering with Sky Soldiers about two and a half years. Uh, Melody found them on the internet looking for something, something to do, something to help out with. All the proceeds that we get from uh, sales of the, the rides to the shirts and everything goes back into funding these helicopters to basically keep them out of museums. We want to keep them flying. Parts, honestly, we cannot go to a, a Napa or an advanced auto and get parts for these things. They just don't make them anymore because these helicopters are 1960s and 1970s models. But everything that we get is either new old stock or somebody else has had it or both. The funding really, really helps and that's what we do and that's basically why we're here is to keep them flying. There's basically two groups. There's the kids that enjoy the, the ride experience itself, which is, as you ask any of them, it's pretty awesome. But, but more uh, emotionally, on the other side of the house is, is uh, prior service members or, and or their families that uh, are connected to the UE specifically and sometimes the Cobra. And, it's, it's an emotional experience. Sometimes Some of them had not been next to the aircraft or in it in 40 plus years. They haven't had the opportunity. It's an opportunity we give them. We, we try to you know, do it in many uh, air shows that we can during the year on the eastern part of the U.S. And we, uh, it, it just emotionally, it's, it's, uh, it's uplifting for me too, to, to see the, the experience and what they, the, their reaction is to, to be in. Some of them don't want to fly it. They just want to stand next to it. And that's okay too. Uh, and, but some, some people, it's closure. Uh, getting on that aircraft that they had, it took them into an LZ, a hot LZ, or it took them out of a hot LZ. So there's a lot of emotional uh, experiences that they, they, they kind of relive and, and, and kind of let go. Now we support our organization many ways. Uh, obviously it takes funds, okay? But uh, there's two ways we get support mainly from volunteers. Our organization is a nonprofit. We have three full time employees two mechanics and one administrator, and we're there every day to maintain the standard basic organization of any company. And beyond that, everything that gets done is volunteers. As you can imagine, the cost of uh, operating Hueys and Cobra helicopters today is no different than it was 30 years ago. In fact, it's even more expensive today. We have several companies and corporations and other types of organizations that help us out a great deal when it comes to major engine repair, major transmission repair, major uh, rotor blade repair and things of that nature. It's extremely expensive so we have some great partners uh, that help us out uh, in that regard in ways that I can't even describe. But uh, without those our organization would not exist. My personal experience with these aircraft started when I was younger. I grew up in the Virgin Islands and uh, they had Hueys at the National Guard unit, so I'd always see the Hueys flying around, and I would, I, in my mind, like when I grow up, 
I'm gonna fly one of those. When I grow up, I'm gonna fly. And then I started my flight training at 16, and I just moved into fixed wing. But coming down here at the organization, for me, being able to bond with other combat veterans, it, I just, sometimes you can't even put it in words, you know? It's what, it brings me down here to be around these guys. We're, we're all from different backgrounds, all from different areas, but we all come together for the same cause, and the cause is keeping these older aircraft flying, you know? That's our main focus and making sure it's safe. And these aircraft, a lot of civilians don't have the opportunity to experience that unless you're in the military. So what we bring to the civilian community to interact with, you know, guys that have been to war, been to combat, and around these combat aircraft is unbelievable. They're, it's not done anywhere else. And for people to have that type of interaction is just, to me, just wonderful. And I wanted to be part of that. And eventually, with my ratings, I will, you know, get my helicopter rating and hopefully fly the Huey or the Cobra on the air shows in the near future. So that's my goal, you know, so I can share that with people also. And plus, it's just awesome to fly around in a Huey with the doors open or fly an actual combat aircraft and present it in front of people at an air show. I just think it's awesome. And we've talked a lot about our organization from the membership to maintenance to air shows. And what I'd like to close with and let everybody know that if you want to learn more about what we do, learn more about what we are, or learn more about ways to you might want to support our organization, you can go to our website at www.armyav.org.